Hi there. Let's start my talk. The title is Getting Started with Statically Typed Programming in Python 3.10. Okay. Before main contents, uh, I'll introduce myself at their table of contents. Slide materials is uploaded. You can see it be very careful or the slide speaker deck. And the page styles in sample codes are uh, some ignored. And uh, my name is Peacock. Uh, Twitter, uh, GitHub, and Facebook is here. Uh, please me, please call me Peacock. And uh, my favorites are music, music, and uh, skiing and gadgets. My company is I work at in CMSCOM. Uh, we are the only company in Japan that uses Prom. And member, I member of Prom JP. Uh, we created a short video uh, to introducing from 6. And operating, I'm operating member of PyCon JP Association. Um, I involved uh, PyCon JP 2020 and 2021. And uh, I'm a PyCon JP TV's director. That is a uh, YouTube live about PyCons and local events. Uh, it is here, mass mass. Okay, this is today's topic. First, uh, why I do talk about typing. Second, uh, interaction of typing. Uh, how to write basically. And third, uh, generics and user defined types. And fourth, uh, updates, overview, and, and but background compatibility for 3.9 or before. And last, uh, I introduce overview of new features on 3.9, 3.10. It is five. It's been five years since typing appeared uh, in Python three point five at twenty fifteen. Uh, several big peps were adopted and ad updated over the years. Even now, I think many people don't know where to start uh, because there is little coherent information. There is topics are uh, what I will I will not talk about uh, developing developing library with typing, configuring and options of my pie. Uh, how to use typing in CI uh, history of type hinting implementation and abstract syntax tree okay let's take a look at how to actually start typing first let's look at the uh, typing care for the uh, it knows the types when you're referenced it in the data and it gets angry when there I, I try to give uh, the long one and uh, the computation will work when accessing the return value of a function using dot. Uh, with a type hint, we can we, we can't know the 
AST uh, type. So we don't know the error. With the type hint, it takes a long argument. It is wrong. In a core review, uh, the reviewer can you know, have uh, no variables of uh, function return types. With a type hint, uh, reviewer can can't know the return type from the reading of the definition. As a result, uh, many people have many people may have had uh, these experiences. However, type hint may take may may make the review process uh, more smooth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's start with functions or definitions. After the argument, write colon and type. You have the colon of at the type of ty uh, for the colon at the end of function definition, write on arrow and type such as this. Okay, let's take a look at the types of the that can be used in practice. If you want to uh, these uh, five types built in bool, bytes, float, int, and str. Yes, uh, you, you don't need to do anything to use them. And now, now it's used for functions that return nothing. And uh, if you want to escape from the complex type puzzles, uh, you can use any. Yes, it can hold instance of any type. Of course, uh, it is better not to use it. If it, if. If necessary, uh, import you import and use them from typing. Since 3.9, uh, JNX in standard collections is available. Uh, dict frozen set list and set and tuple. And correct these collections can be done with square brackets for the type inside. Yes, until 3.8, uh, it was from typing, but now it's duplicated. Yes, for Danda Britain, start with lowercase without typing, doing anything uh, such as the, the type list and tupper. For corrections, uh, for uh, for example, Q default dict. Uh, import modules as uh, that with corrections uh, iterable callable and other protocol related items import modules start with corrections of the ABC regular expressions uh, is available from RE context related items are available in context -relief. Because of way of writing described before, uh, it is deprecated from since 3.9 import from typing modules. For JX, uh, this 3.9, you had to write from import typing, uh, from typing import dots, such as dict, uh, list, and tuple. Uh, it is uh, uppercase start with from 
it is duplicated. This is before uh, sorry, uh, till 3.9 stars. But uh, since 3.9, no one needed this important statement. There are many types in collections of DBC. Uh, although it's unlikely that you will use this uh, your fine graded way, uh, it is better to choose collections with a uh, few as methods as possible in increasing portability. The next figure shows the relationship between collections of ABC and the sequence of beta in types uh, defined by method in inclusion rather than, rather than implementation inheritance. It is a good idea to look at the methods used in your functions at uh, Choose the types on the left side and uh, this di the diagrams as much as possible. Yes, uh, it is the figures. The fathers of the left you go, uh, the field is method it has to the right side, more the more method it has. Uh, for example, if you ju want to just want to loop of a sequence of arguments in function, you can use collections dot abc iterable. Uh, if you need a random access, use sequence. Sequence. Uh, if you need to change the value, uh, use the type of the mutable. Or uh, if you simply specify list as uh, argument types, you will not be able to pass the set of or dict. In particular, uh, it is better than uh, it, is, it is better not to set concrete types uh, such as list type or dict set, uh, just because you are familiar with them. Uh, however. I think it is easier to understanding use access understanding using these concrete types so you may want to first apply these these concrete types. After you confirm that uh, you can use fewer operators and methods you you may want to gradually move to the left side of the types. Yes, uh, it is a uh, difference uh, between types, uh, between tuples and other sequences. Tuples are uh, fixed up to the length information, specified the types of a number of elements or uh, you can mix types such as this a sequence as a sequence uh, such as a list has the same constraint or for elements in the element it can be used regardless of the length of the sequences by setting around only the one element Next, uh, there are few advanced types. At first is union. It must merge type. This, this example is a function. Is a function at that uh, accepts of both integer as float bottoms. And. This is a uh, union object can be tested for equality with uh, other union objects. Uh, you probably seen it or Haskell or TypeScript. Uh, 
and uh, optional type it is a shorthand for union with null if you use it in function return value of something uh, it will propagate so be careful how to use it uh, well, optional is useful but causes a uh, core plot uh, you when you use the function, uh, you write the uh, as a card as return now as a result. Uh, you we need to uh, write a card as a previous method. Yes, uh, because of course, uh, which reduces readability. And in this case. Uh, it would be cleaner to raise a uh, runtime error. Yes, uh, sure. Uh, cost of exception is low, so the performance would be satisfactory. The lack of null safe methods uh, in Python is also a factor. Next is Corabor. It can be used when writing function that take a function as an argument, such as decorator functions. And uh, generic types is typically declared right in the head inheriting uh, from the uh, instance of the this class one or the one or more type variables okay next is the update overview and how to use new features in older versions. This is an updated overview recently. Let's talk about Dunder Future, which has uh, come up uh, many times before. Modules and methods with two underscores at is easier and are pronounced dunder. Uh, it is it exists for backward compatibility uh, using typing new features on older versions right from import dunder future import annotations. It describes when this pressure changes are uh, introduced and become mandatory. In addition to typing, uh, it was also used to call C.x feature in C2.x, for example, print function. Okay, next topic is new features in Python 3.10. It will be released uh, November. Uh, previous month. Uh, this there is a difficult feature. I'm not sure I can explain it to you. Yes, Python 3.10 has been released. This is uh, there are one, two, three, four. Five new features on Python 3.10. Yes, uh, there are 
new features on Python 3.10. I'll introduce uh, this, these papers. First, uh, new type union operator. Uh, the union above type uh, can be used as an operator. You can also it when uh, it when asking a uh, easy instance. More incentive since uh, type script and other use this notation. Next, uh, parameter specification variables. Uh, it is, it topics is very difficult. Uh, the motivation is uh, trying to uh, write a generic decorator. It is difficult to write the types. Uh, it is needed uh, a way to represent a function that has the same arguments as the spectral functions. Approaches uh, adding uh, argument uh, type called parameter specification solves the problem. It can be used with Corabel to behave like a generic Corabel object. You can think of the it is an arguments version of type bar. It is example. Please note that uh, the PS this this PS is the same same type. Next is type alias. Motivation is we considering global variables with a type hint to be the type alias. This tends the uh, core problems with furthering differences uh, scoping. So we are going to uh, make it possible to explicitly uh, define type alias. You can still define type aliases are uh, imperative. Uh, approaches adding as a new type typing dot type alias. Write a variable of the of type alias like like this. Using further references, uh, you can write like this. Okay. Next is the user defined type class. The type check classes uh, use a technique called uh, type narrowing to determine of the type information. In this example, uh, the if statement and is now uh, used uh, automatically narrow down the type. This is now is not uh, is a type card. The type or bar is narrowed to now. However, that will not work uh, as intended or the user function is used. Type guards uh, solves the, this problem. And type knowing works like this. Okay. 
okay. This is today's summary. First is introduction our built-in types and standard collections. And uh, next collections and Genix. And uh, updates overview. And last uh, Python 3.10 style type hinting. Okay. This is the uh, references documents. Thank you for listening. Thank you.